Hi team, welcome to Edinburgh. It's a surprisingly sunny day here today. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. I'm Alan Robertson, Head of Product and Development for our European Henry Schein Veterinary Solutions business. You would have heard some of our business leaders talk about our strategic objectives and I'm here today to talk to you about differentiated innovation. So, differentiated innovation. What is differentiated innovation? Well, it's defined as more than incremental change, but less than radical change. It carries medium risk, but is really about customer-centric change. We want to create an advantage over our competitors and deliver real value through technological advancement. To do that, we really have to look at cultural and behavioural change within our own business. Everybody within our business is capable of bringing ideas to the table. We see in consumer technology, it's grown at such a rapid pace it used to be that people who went to work, they would see new technology all the time. But now, in our, in our workplaces, they're so far behind where consumer technology needs to be. And the expectations of individuals who are consuming that technology have wildly grown outside of our area. And maybe we need to think about embracing consumer tech more. Inspiration will come from anywhere, inside or outside of our business. Amazon Echo, Google Home, Spotify, Netflix, all of these things that we consume every day are using some of these technologies and we need to think about how we can leverage them into our business. One of the other areas we need to look into is technology within education. Before vets even become vets, we could be disrupting their experience in a positive way. At a really early stage of their life cycle, things like augmented reality and surgery, haptic feedback so that when they're doing this surgery they could feel limbs and tissue these things might exist but are not widely adopted and we could bring all of these things together to provide a really holistic solution. Differentiated innovation is all about delivering real value to our customers through advancing technologies, ultimately setting ourselves apart from our competitors and making picking Henry Schein Veterinary Solutions an easy choice for our clients. One of the projects that we're looking at in the UK is regards a client facing kiosk that will sit in the reception of the practice. It's a self-service facial recognition piece of hardware that will interact with the user. A pet parent can walk in with their pet, walk up to the kiosk, it will recognise their face and if they're there for an appointment that day, will tell them to go take a seat. It will know who they are, know the pet and be able to interact with them. That can be used for so many more things, things like getting people to check their personal data for data protection, review the reminders or repeat medications and ultimately be developed to sell them products and services, potentially. It can all be using high street hardware that people can get to deliver that solution, so it's easily available. Facial recognition technology is around us everywhere already. Companies like Apple are making facial recognition mainstream with things like Face ID for their phones or portrait mode for their cameras. Additionally, as I'm sure many of you know, filters on social media platforms such as Snapchat and Instagram are full of facial recognition. Intelligent kiosk would provide real efficiency in practice and it allows us to truly affect the pet owner's vet experience in a positively disruptive way. One of the other projects that is currently in production is Project Smart. Project Smart will allow us to diagnose and fix problems before a customer knows they've even happened. It's designed to monitor key attributes and status for a site. We'll be able to look into things like database size, hard disk space, network status or sync status. It will allow us to group practices together for corporates and know which products of ours they have. This will give us intimate live knowledge of our customers' ecosystem to keep them moving forward. Through Smart, we'll be able to run commands on a specific site. We've developed Smart with overlords and minions the overlord controls everything, the minions do the job. Smart itself will be self-updating in a live environment, so as and when we add new features and functions to Smart, it will update itself. We can also add new commands in a live environment, so that when we want Smart to do new things, we can get it to do new things automatically. What we also want to do is that for it to be able to update our products automatically, bring in some of the cloud benefits to on-premise solutions that we currently have. We'll be able to interrogate data, insert patches. All of this is achieved using Internet of Things and Microsoft Azure Cloud Services. By thinking of our sites 
as IoT devices, much like a smartphone. Through the delivery of Project Smart, it will allow us to raise our service level to set us apart from our competitors. Some customers may never have to call us for issues again. Efficiencies in our operational team servicing our clients will allow them to focus on taking our service level to the next level. Smart has been developed so that it can be rolled out globally, developed in a way that makes it portable to be deployed and utilised in any of our geographies. If you want to talk about anything that you've heard here today from any of our business leaders, please do get in touch. We'd be more than happy to talk you through any of this. Thanks again for listening. Take care.